What's up guys, it's Eggy, and welcome back to Ataraxia. Or should I say, welcome back to perfection. This server is probably one of my favorites for the simple fact that it is so clean. They have followed the exact RuneScape 3 path, mimicking everything from mechanics to the new skills like divination, invention, archaeology. Everything is done perfect, but without the ability bar. It's the same pre-EOC combat that we all know and love. Of course, if at any point in time you guys do want to come check out this server, the link will be down below. But of course, real quick before the video, once again, Adorexy sponsored another video on my channel and hooked you guys up with a huge giveaway. Being a starry party hat to one lucky commenter, this beautiful hat was actually donated on my last stream from a fan. And honestly, this is a sick hat. As well, on top of that, another lucky commenter is going to grab themselves 10 of the mystery boxes. Be sure to enter today, guys. And of course, if you want a chance to do so, make sure to like the video, comment your Ataraxia, IGN, down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. As always, though, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and let's get into it. Today, we are going to be taking a look of one of my favorite pieces of content that RuneScape has ever had to offer, the Heart of Gelenor. The Heart of Gelenor, or God Wars Dungeon 2, released a few years back on RuneScape 3, includes five new bosses, Vindicta, Hellweir, Gregavoric, the Twin Furies, and last but not least, Telos, the Warden himself. Each of these bosses do actually have multiple different mechanics that you do have to watch out for, but with this expansion came new gear setups, a new reputation system, some brand new weapons, and of course, a challenge that most players on Galenor will fail to complete. Honestly, the main reason with God Wars 2 it being so high in my books is the lore that comes with it, the beautiful breathtaking bosses, the hard mechanics, some brand new boss fights that will take hours to try and learn. Honestly, I've probably spent close to 500 hours inside of God Wars 2. So, starting off, what we're going to be doing today, like I said, quick little showcase of the Heart of Gelenor. I'm going to be jumping through all four of the demi bosses. Like I said, Vindicta, Hellweir, Twin Furies, and of course, Gregavoric. Telos will have to wait for a future video, but either way, let's jump into this. As well, I should definitely mention, this is by no means a guide to these bosses. They do have some pretty interesting mechanics that you will have to watch out for, but in all honesty, I just wanted to show off my favorite piece of content to you guys. For the most part for this video, I will just be using the max melee setup because honestly, God Wars 2 is fairly easy. You don't need end game gear to do this, mid game is more than fine. Either way, first off, let's pick our first boss, being of course Vindicta. Likewise, on God Wars Dungeon 1, you will need the respective kill count to actually enter the fight, but after 40 KC, traverse the threshold, and into the barrier. Dude, I legit- I've played this game for so many hours, I played RS3, and I still legit can't get over the fact that this is RuneScape, dude. It's- it's insane. Anyways, we're gonna be starting our incense, jump in real quick, and normal mode, jumping in. If I'm honest, Vindicta is probably one of my favorite out of the God Wars dungeon bosses. That spinning mechanic you just saw, make sure to step the fuck away from it. And you just whack the boy down, step out of the fire. Like, look at that, dude! It looks sick! Sorry, my bad. I honestly get so lost in the graphics when I'm playing this game. And dodge the fire again, dodge the spinny boys, simple fight. Like I said, God Wars 2 is honestly pretty simple. Especially if you get all the mechanics down perfectly, you can get some insane kill trips. Oh my god, the fire. And he's phasing the boy jumped on a dragon. At a quarter HP, they will phase together and drop more mechanics on you. It's kind of annoying. But honestly, it is a pretty cool fight. He jumps up again. I think what I normally did, I tried to juke it. Yeah, I only took one tick of damage like that. That's, that's all right, I guess. And not much longer. Bada bing, bada boom. Vindicta, probably one of the easier of the four. And with that, Let's jump into the one I hate the most, Gregorvik. Gregorvik, Gregorvik, Greg, yeah, run into the northeast. So Greg's kind of cool. It's more of like an undead fight. Again, this is the fight that I hate the most and you're about to see why. He's got some interesting mechanics and definitely the boss that I've spent the least amount of time at. But again, it's God Wars Dungeon 2. Realistically, not that hard. So the first mechanic, he will spawn a spirit, make sure you kill it, I believe it will heal, I believe if it actually reaches Greg, it will heal him for a decent chunk. 
I did kind of forget, but make sure you are bringing anti-poisons if you're camping out Greg. Rise child once again. Kill the spirit of mania. No, I misclicked. Ooh, I'm fucking shit at this game. Out of the black. Bro, chill with the spirits. This is the mechanic that I dislike the most. So he's going to spawn a couple shadows on him. You can, if you want, just continue DPSing the boss. It's obviously going to be the one that's not a shadow. Or if the shadows are actually hurting you a little bit, feel free to kill them. They only have like 500 HP. And yeah, as you're seeing, they do do quite a bit of damage. Now I got like six spawned. This is getting kind of hectic. This is why it's good to kill them. Now I'm starting to panic and holy fuck. Bro, sheesh. Chill, dude. I'm actually... No way, dude. I'm literally in bis. There's no way I'm going to catch a death at God Wars. Holy moly. Grigorvik dead. I fucking hate that boss. Actually so much. And next on the line is going to be Hellweir. If I'm honest, I don't mind Hellweir. Definitely not my favorite. I'm saving that one for last. But again, it's just another God Wars Dungeon 2 boss. Realistically, it shouldn't be that hard. Same as last time, normal mode, jump it in. Same as last time, normal mode and jumping right in. Again, again, definitely noted. Bring anti-poisons here, dude. But as you can kind of see, stay the fuck away from the mushrooms. He's going to jump up. You will bleed. You can kind of run away from it. But honestly, it's just a small dot. Does like 10 damage a tick. Keep DPS in the boss. Stay the fuck away from the glowing mushrooms. An easy fight. Okay, I just got stacked for like 80 HP. I don't know. To me, honestly, like I got bored of the same click, wait, click, wait, click, wait combat. So like actually having things with mechanics, with minion spawning, got to move at different times. Things like, like, I don't know what it is, dude. It's just so much more enjoyable. The game itself was more engaging instead of just click. All right, I'm going to go have a wank. All right, I gotta click again. I don't know, dude. Hell weird, though. Honestly, it's pretty much just a big DPS test. DPS, the boy. And as expected, eventually he will fall. I do this game, man. And last of the four, definitely my favorite, Twin Furies. These are actually really fun to kill. And with Mage, they're crazy easy. Hence, I've switched to a Mage setup. Grab myself the AoE spells with the Blood Barrage. I am still poisoned, but honestly, I don't really got to worry about that. Blood Barrage plus Soul Split. And you can also grab yourself like the Superior Vampirism Aura. You can literally AFK these bosses. I myself have probably killed like 3 or 4k between this game and RS3. Twins are actually mad fun. And again, my fucking favorite. As expected though, same as last time. 40kc, then traverse the barrier. And as expected, into the Twins. So the cool thing about these, there's two obviously, so what I'll be able to do is when she's not doing her mechanics, I can hit them both at the same time and technically do twice the amount of damage. And the fact that I'm literally doing these mechanics while talking, zero effort, just kind of shows how much I've done these dudes. So essentially, first phase, Avarice will jump around the room, she will target you, if she actually hits you, she'll stun you, do a bit of damage, kind of annoying. No big deal though on first phase. But group them up, DPS them down together, because technically right now I'm doing double damage. Phase 3, Nomura will go invulnerable and pretty much just spray the ground. Not that big of a deal. Keep DPSing. Ignore it. Pretty sure I'm going to miss the last phase here. I'm going to try and slow down my DPS a little bit just so I can see it. But on the last phase here, they will form together, burning the entire area here. Once that little charge is full, it'll do, it'll do quite a bit of damage. So I'll make sure they die beforehand. I hit me a 550. Sheesh. Anyways. The Twin Furies are dead, just like that. I don't know, Twins are definitely my favorite. Anyway though guys, I am going to start wrapping up the video here. Make sure to give this server a shot, seriously. I have posted so many videos on here. You guys seem to love this server. I'm doing my road to tier 92 again, dude. Ataraxia is super clean and honestly breathtaking. Link down below. But of course guys, make sure to enter for that crazy giveaway and of course to join mine in the Ataraxia discords by using the links down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on God Wars Dungeon 2 and as well, drop a comment. What is your favorite of the four bosses? Either way though guys, I really hope you enjoyed and later. Thank you.